This is Orion, Meta's most ambitious AR glasses to date, described as the most advanced piece of personal tech ever created. These aren't your average smart glasses. Orion delivers a true augmented reality experience, projecting detailed holograms in any direction your eyes can look. While only available for internal testing, Orion might just be the future of how we interact with digital spaces. So, the million dollar question is, can this replace smartphones? And why is this gadget seen as the future of augmented reality? Let's find out. Augmented reality AR glasses have been around for over a decade, with Google Glass being one of the first significant attempts back in 2013. This lightweight device resembled regular eyeglasses, but was equipped with a small display in the corner of the user's vision. Google Glass was designed to assist users in navigating their surroundings with its GPS feature, while providing hands-free access to notifications by projecting information directly into their field of vision. Despite its futuristic design and the promise of hands-free interaction with data, the product struggled with privacy concerns, a lack of useful applications, and its relatively high price point. As a result, it never caught on with the public and eventually shifted to a niche audience in industries like healthcare and manufacturing. Considering all these, Microsoft HoloLens, which was introduced in 2016, took a different approach by focusing on a more immersive, enterprise-level experience. Unlike Google Glass, HoloLens lets users interact with 3D holograms overlaid on the real world, making it a game changer for industries like engineering, architecture, and healthcare. Fast forward to today, and Meta's Orion AR glasses are bringing AR technology closer to the mainstream. Meta's Orion glasses aim to replace smartphones by fundamentally changing how we access information, communicate, and interact with our digital world. Imagine a future where you just put on your glasses and everything you need, from messages to navigation to apps, appears seamlessly in your field of view. Well, that's the vision Meta has with Orion. While this device has not been released into the market, Meta has shown a great level of openness regarding its production, product, and price. Meta's Orion is Meta's latest step in the augmented reality AR space, unveiled by Mark Zuckerberg at Meta's Connect 2024. These glasses mark a major leap forward in AR technology, as Meta aims to blend the physical and digital worlds in ways that go beyond anything we've seen before. The Meta's Orion glasses are the first true AR glasses from the company. While Meta has released products like the Ray-Ban specs, those were more about putting AI-powered assistance in your everyday wear. The Orion glasses, however, take it up a notch, delivering what Meta calls spatial computing. This means they can sense, interact with, and layer digital content right on top of the real world, essentially merging the two. One of the most exciting aspects of these glasses is their neural interface, which gives users the ability to control the glasses with more precision and speed. They also come with an upgraded AI assistant, making interactions feel more natural and intuitive. A key feature is the wireless puck, an external computing unit that comes with it, which takes some of the heavy computing tasks off the glasses themselves. This means the glasses stay lighter, the battery lasts longer, and you don't need to stay tethered to a phone or computer to enjoy what they offer. But the puck isn't all. Meta has also included a wristband equipped with haptic feedback and EMG sensors, which translate your movements into commands in real time. This wristband offers a new level of interaction with your AR environment, beyond just what you see in the lenses. Although Meta hasn't released the full technical specs yet, likely because they're still fine-tuning the design, we do know the prototype boasts seven cameras, a 70-degree field of view, and a custom eye-tracking system. There's also a built-in microphone and speakers for voice control, making it easier to interact with the AI assistant baked into the system. When it comes to design, Meta's focus is on making these glasses as light as possible without sacrificing performance. They're not quite like your everyday reading glasses, but they aim to look and feel closer to something you'd be comfortable wearing for extended periods. Compared to other AR glasses on the market, like the Ray Neo X2 or X-Real Air, they're a step ahead in both design and tech. For starters, the frame is made from super light magnesium alloy, which keeps the weight down to a mere 98 grams. And let's not forget about the overheating issue. Meta's developed a specialized, power-efficient system on a chip to keep things cool. This design helps prevent heat buildup, so you won't feel like your glasses are burning up after a few hours of use. It's 
small touches like this that show Meta is thinking beyond just making AR glasses look cool. They're making them comfortable and practical for real-world use. The Meta's Orion glasses pull you into an exciting world where digital and reality blend seamlessly, and the displays are at the heart of this experience. The glasses use advanced micro-LED technology, which means you get bright, clear visuals without the bulk of traditional screens. You can look at the world around you and see a map pop up in the corner of your vision, or your to-do list floating beside a real object on your desk. The way these displays blend into the environment is smooth and unobtrusive, making the digital elements feel like a natural extension of reality. On the audio front, Meta has packed these glasses with built-in speakers and a microphone, so the entire experience is hands-free and voice-controlled. The speakers are designed to sit close to your ears, offering crisp sound without needing bulky headphones. Whether you're listening to music, getting instructions from your AI assistant, or hearing sound effects from an AR app, the audio is clear and immersive. And since the sound is directed specifically at you, you can hear everything without disturbing those around you. The microphone also allows for seamless voice commands, making it easy to navigate apps, respond to messages, or ask questions, all without lifting a finger. Orion has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with tech and even replace smartphones. Imagine a future where you can make calls, send messages, and video chat without ever having to whip out your phone. However, before that can happen, we need to tackle some major challenges. For starters, Orion is not a standalone device like our smartphones. You've got the glasses, an external computing unit, and an EMG wristband. Three separate pieces that don't exactly scream convenience. This could be seen as a step back in. Terms of convenience especially for those who value the all-in-one nature of smartphones. Battery life is another critical concern for AR devices, and Orion is no exception. Most AR glasses on the market today can only run for a few hours before requiring a recharge, which poses a challenge for users who rely on their devices throughout the day. While the external computing unit might help extend battery life, it could also exacerbate the inconvenience of carrying extra gear. For many people, the prospect of needing to manage both AR glasses and an external unit could negate the benefits of a hands-free experience. Cost is another factor that could hinder Orion's acceptance as a smartphone replacement. According to Meta's executives, the decision to delay Orion's rollout was primarily influenced by the device's high production cost, estimated to be around $10,000 per unit. This high price tag posed significant challenges in making the device accessible to consumers and achieving widespread adoption. Although Meta has yet to announce a price for Orion, we can look at comparable devices such as Apple's Vision Pro headset with a hefty price tag of $3,499. If Orion follows a similar pricing strategy, it may remain out of reach for the average consumer. One thing smartphones have going for them is that they're available at a range of price points, making them more affordable for a wider range of people. This is an advantage that AR glasses are yet to have. With Meta's Orion gadget set to hit the market in 2027, the elephant in the room is privacy, specifically how it's always watching and listening to its surroundings. People are bound to wonder how their data will be handled, especially with Apple's Vision Pro and Google's AR glasses on the scene. While the vision for Orion is captivating, it raises practical questions about its feasibility as a smartphone replacement. Whether Orion can ultimately replace smartphones depends not just on its capabilities, but on how well it aligns with the convenience and accessibility consumers have come to expect from their devices.